All right, so the board that I designed in a previous uh, video on Cadence um, has arrived, and I've soldered a few basic components to it, um, so that way I can test it out with a PSOC 5. So I'm going to start off um, by just doing a, a really quick, um, a quick LED flash um, program that will just flash an LED on the board um, so we can see that it's working. Um, so I'm going to start out by opening up a PSOC Creator, and I'll make a new project. This is for the CY8C5888 LP097. Um, that's the chip we've got installed in this. We just press next. We're just going to call this test workspace one. And I'm going to call this LED flash. This is the project name. I guess we're going to do test workspace two. Okay. So this is just a blank project, and I'm just going to add an LED. Um, so I can go to ports and pins, and I'll make a digital output pin. And I'm going to double click, and I'm going to call this component LED. Um, I can leave everything else by default, and I'll just hit OK. Um, oh, I actually want to uncheck hardware connection, because um, we're just going to be controlling this, uh, this LED with software. We don't have anything that's hardware uh, wired to it. So we've got to assign it to a pin, and we'll go to pins over here. And um, this is based on the actual hardware on my board. So um, I've wired an LED up to pin 2, 1. Um, so I'm going to select pin 2, 1 over here. And then um, I'll go over here and I'll just press this build button. So it takes the hardware and it's going to translate this hardware into um, some C libraries that we can use. You may not see is where we'll put all our code. Um, these are libraries that um, PSOC has automatically generated for us. Um, so I'm just going to start off, we just want to make the LED flash. Um, so we're going to make the LED, uh, the function is LED underscore right. Um, and then we can do one for high. And then we'll do a CY delay for a thousand milliseconds for one second. And then we'll uh, turn the LED off. And then we'll delay for another one second. So we'll just go ahead and hit, uh, well first of all we'll go ahead and uh, plug our device in. And then we'll just hit program. And we can see that the device is flashing our LED. Um, I installed this red LED on pin 2.1, which was a little bit unfortunate because um, the, 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 this kit actually comes with a built-in LED on pin 2-1, so it's just a little bit redundant. Um, so, but uh, there are two LEDs that are just wired to one pin in parallel, but you can see those, um, you can see the LEDs are flashing, which is confirming that the board is working.